Hey guys, welcome back. It looks like the Anvil Legionnaire Q&A is in, so let's go ahead and uh, check it out, shall we? Alright, so where is it? There we are. So, um, okay. So what conditions must be met for the Legionnaire to dock? For example, does the target ship have to be immobilized and its shields overcome, or can the Legionnaire dock mid-flight? So the conditions are the same as current ship-to-ship -ship docking as featured on the Constellation and Merlin, so the ships must be aligned and oriented correctly. This can be done at any speed, although the slower, the better. The only difference is that the Legionnaire can override the docking permission system, usually controlled by the target ship. Okay, so it looks like, um, you can dock with the Legionnaire on any ship much in the same way as, uh, you can do currently in the game, but slower is better. Now, like, that means that you don't necessarily have to stop the enemy ship in order to dock, but obviously you might have similar issues if you were trying to do it and you didn't happen to do it that way. I, I do wonder how it's going to work, honestly, just because if you're trying to dock somebody who doesn't want to be docked and they're just spinning to win, you know, with decoupled mode or whatever, um, that's going to cause issues for both of you, no? Alright, so what happens if the target ship quantum jumps while the Legionnaire is docked? It says here the Legionnaire will quantum jump with it, which is the same as any docked ship to another one. What is the planned range of the Legionnaire's hacking capabilities? So this is still to be determined based on testing, but expect it to be relatively close, a few kilometers, not a dozens or hundreds to keep that uh, hacking uh, signal or something. Okay. I guess if you were able to do it from too far away, then it could be, I don't know, like, not abused, but there has to be some balance to it so that somebody isn't 100 kilometers away and all of a sudden their doors are open. Um, how can players counter the Legionnaire's hacking ability? This is a good question here. So the hacking mechanic is intended to have gameplay for both sides, for both the hacker and the hacky. So in instances with no, one, no other player present, attempting to board an NPC ship or a non-Legionnaire scenario such as hacking environmental setups, the counter role is performed by AI. They don't really go forward. They don't explain what the counter player is going to be. I'm guessing we're going to have to wait until we get an ISC or relevant uh, like design document about it. But they do give us this image here again. We saw this image in a previous video as well that we showed you guys. But they've discussed and described how they want the uh, operator procedure for the uh, for the uh, Legionnaire to work. Uh, I forget what the, the heck they call it now, like the operator role, right? Uh, as you can see, the Legionnaire pilot has this screen, and it's not just concept art, it's pretty much what they, uh, what they explained. It is split in two. So on one side, you have what almost looks like a snake, right? Like a 3D snake or like some kind of corridor kind of game. On the other side, you have uh, what looks more like command line stuff. And, they'd say, and we don't necessarily know how it's going to work, if you're going to have to like learn code per se, or if it's going to be more puzzle based, and you just kind of like, you know, click on buttons that then brings up the code. But you'll be able to have a choice as the hacker to choose if you want to use the, the spatial 3D kind of way to hack, or to use this command line thing to hack instead. Um, however, as somebody being hacked, it does seem like there's going to be an active process to delay this and fight back. So that's going to be interesting, and that's something they haven't talked about before, so I'm really curious to see how that's going to work. Alright, so what can be hacked on the target vessel? For example, will we be able to, to disable or activate self-destruct, open and close airlocks, and manipulate thrusters? So the Legionnaire's systems are dedicated to the specific and directed task of overriding and overcoming the docking and air traffic control systems of the target ship, which in universe is a sufficient challenge by itself. There are not, they are not able to address the other command systems of the target ship. That's a very interesting thing to put here. It kind of makes hacking and e-war things that we've heard about in the future uh, it's, it's kind of put those things now into a niche. I feel like we're gonna have to uh, maybe perhaps tackle E-War 
uh, in another video as a whole topic to kind of see or guess where they're going to be going from, from here because it does seem like if hacking doors is a very specific thing, whereas Eeyore, as they described it four years ago or so, was more blanket, does that mean that we're going to have to get specific ships for specific other components? You know, like, do we need a new ship just for hacking the engines of a ship? Do we need a ship just for thrust and manipulation or airlocks? Or is there going to be another kind of hacking ship that does that? Or will the Vanguard Sentinel, will the Terrapin, will the Drake Herald uh, be able to do things that this ship in particular cannot, and vice versa? A lot of questions get opened up with this one question and answer here. So, what hangar and landing pads will the Legionnaire use? Also, will it fit inside capital ships like the Polaris and Idris? So, the dimensions of the Legionnaire fit within what we term as extra small hangars and pads, which is the same classification as single-seater ships from the Arrow up to the Prospector. So, expect to fit it wherever you can fit an Arrow and Prospector then. Interesting. Now, you can almost fit an Arrow inside a Carrack. Does that mean you can fit the Legionnaire inside a Carrack as well? Can the Legionnaire also be used against ships that do not have an airlock, such as the Crusader Hercules? Are the turret hardpoints alternative dockable breakthrough points, like they are in derelict ships like the Starfarer? So at this point in time, we're only committing to it being able to breach dedicated airlock entry points, so the doors only, not the turrets when they blow up, both for small and large varieties. While we would like manned turrets to be valid breach points in the future via EVA, like we currently do for the uh, downed Starfarers, it is not currently planned to allow automated docking systems to dock with them. But maybe docking, maybe manual ones in the future, question mark. So will the docking port tunnel on the Legionnaire provide any cover for its boarding team? Will we be able to deploy portable barriers in the docking collar to use as cover? So there are deployable covers built into the tunnel to help the boarding team make it to the target. So it's not just one long corridor, there might be chest high walls or something else. Now back in the day before Star Marine was first revealed, as part of like the FPS gadgets and stuff, a deployable chest high wall made of energy was something that CIG had, you know, once upon a time devised and, you know, they showed us as something that we're going to be getting. I do wonder what the current state of that is going to be and if we're going to be getting those back. Also, you know, we have those trip mines. I've never actually found the trip mines that are currently in the verse right now in these derelicts, but can you retrieve them? And can you place them yourself? Because, you know, like if. I was being hacked by somebody with a Legionnaire. I I'd like to maybe perhaps arm, <laughs> arm my airlocks with those things just in case. Alright, so does the Legionnaire have crew facilities like beds, storage, a kitchen, toilet, etc? So no. The ship is designed to complete a mission and return to base, not stay out for extended duration. So it's an extremely niche ship for this one role, which is why it's like what? I think. The pledge for this was $100, which is probably the cheapest like uh, we've ever seen for a ship that can house this many players. So what equipment can be transported for the boarding team? For example, can it carry heavy weapons and can heavy armor be worn in the jump seats? So there is space on board to store heavy and special weapons and heavy armor. We're working on with core gameplay pillar to ensure that if heavy armor cannot be worn in the seat, so design doesn't yet know if you can and if you can't, with some of these jump seats that we have right now, like in the Pisces and like in other things like the Redeemer, if you wear a backpack, for instance, the backpack clips through. So already it doesn't look as if wearing one of those is going to allow you to be able to use these jump seats, but we don't know for sure about heavy armor. Then it is in the least impactful place to allow quick equipping before boarding. So if there's a, you know, there's a jump seat, hopefully there'll be like a, you know, a gun rack or an armor rack or something opposite you so you can access it better. So does the Legionnaire have any measures to disguise itself from early detection? So no, there is no dedicated features for this. There's no stealth. Uh, the Legionnaire relies on its shields and armor to get to its target, and shields, of course, uh, give you 
EM signals so people can see you from a mile out. And armor um, also increases your uh, your what your uh, your cross section as well. So no, if you have a legionnaire and you're flying towards somebody, they'll see you coming to them. So are the hacking and boarding mechanics unique to the legionnaire, or will they be available to other e war platforms? This is a really important question. Why should I have a legionnaire? They said beforehand how the legionnaire is kind of single purpose built for the hacking of doors. So let's see what they have to say about this, because this is very important for design and why should you get a legionnaire. So the combination of hacking and boarding is part of legionnaire's default setup behavior. So while other ships may be able to get the hacking ability, it would be at the cost of other blade controlled electronic warfare roles, whereas the legionnaire has it built in. So for example, you could upgrade the Vanguard Sentinel to support ATC hacking, but you would need to manually EVA over to board after that. Also, you would need to then remove one dedicated, like, uh, uh, what, what should I call it now? They just called it here. Uh, one dedicated, like, server blade for that feature. Whereas the Legionnaire will still have server blades free for other things, such as turret slaving and that kind of thing as well. So that makes sense, I guess. So, how maneuverable will the Legionnaire be compared to the Cutlass Steel, uh, Prowler, Vanguard Hoplite, and Valkyrie? So, in maneuverability, it'll be closest to the Steel, but as the ship progresses during development, we'll adjust it as necessary to reflect its much heavier armor. And they do state how this armor is heavy because it's going to need to be because it's supposed to fly right into big ships, small ships, whatever ships, and uh, send your troops into it. Uh, but yeah, we'll see, huh? So how heavy is the armor compared to other ships considering it might take hits from much larger vessels as it's boarding the ship? It's a really good question. So it's designed to take significant fire on approach, so it's relatively heavily armored compared to other dropships and is much closer to other anvil ships such as the Terrapin. I believe the Terrapin and the Legionnaire both have uh, heavy listed armor. Whether or not that's going to help you is another thing entirely. I mean, like, I guess we'll have to wait and see on this one. Right now, all ships have a health pool. But when we finally get physicalized, uh, when we get the physicalized damage uh, model, how is that going to affect all this? I guess I'll have to wait and see. Um, so who controls the turrets and shields while the Legionnaire is in flight and docked? So the co-pilot is in control of one turret as well as the hacking system. So the pilot doesn't do any of the hacking, as you saw in that picture above. The pilot has the other turret slaved to his view, and both can manage the shields. Will the boarding mechanic be possible with an NPC crew, or do we need real players? With nav mesh coming in, this is a really important question. Will the Legionnaire be able to use blades to increase its hacking power or automate it if a crewman isn't present? So NPC co-pilots will be able to do the role if no humans are present, as this is required for both the counter-hacking gameplay on NPC ships regardless. So, this is an issue with these, you know, like, double-ended questions and stuff, is that they, they didn't answer everything. They didn't answer if you could have an NPC crew go aboard and board the ship. That's a more important question to me than anything else they answered here, but sadly they didn't answer the question. Um, will it get specialized bounty seats or cells for holding captured enemies? So no, there is no prison function on this ship. Uh, you would need an Avenger stalker or something along the lines of that to, you know, like to, to take people on, you know, away. Um, but yeah, so that's that for Legionnaire and it's Q&A. What do you guys think? Uh, you know, it's a very niche ship, very niche. The only reason you'd want this is, like, if you are trying to get people onto a capital ship that might take a long, long time to take down or destroy in the future. Right now in Star Citizen, when it comes down to uh, destroying ships like an Idris, like a Javelin, or even a Bengal during, like, Invictus, uh, these ships have a health pool, so you can shoot the exact same spot and get the health to zero and it'll explode. 
but that's not the end goal for Star Citizen when it comes to these ships. What they want in the future is a physicalized model where when you shoot the hull, the hull kind of like, you know, uh, ablates away. And then the bullets will then be able to hit things like the power plant and things like that to cause the chain reaction that will either kill the ship, causing the engines to go so it's now there for you to use a legionnaire or you know to cause a cascade effect that would then cause the engines to explode and you know you can then see the explosions you have right now in 317.1 um we don't know where this is all going but hopefully you know like uh somewhere where things like this will make more sense if in the future, when we have this physicalized damage model, um, ships like the, you know, the Javelin take forever to kill, you might need a ship like this at the end of a battle to come in and then clear out a ship to make sure that there's nobody inside. Because otherwise, you might be there for a long time trying to kill all the systems. Especially if the people aboard the ship, you know, manually kill their engines so that there isn't an explosion. And then they're just biding their time waiting for somebody to come and save them. A lot of theory crafty stuff there, a lot of storytelling kind of stuff there, but uh, hopefully um, we get something cool and uh, fun out of this gameplay in the future. Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. I hope you had, uh, hope you had fun. Um, we are currently live on Twitch at the moment, but of course, when this video comes out on YouTube, it won't be likely. Uh, but yeah, keep an eye out. We have some interesting videos on the horizon for this channel with Star Citizen. We have some lore stuff, some design document stuff in the future as well, so keep our eyes peeled. Until then, the, until then I'll see you next time. And, uh, bye.